How's it everyone? I'm Simon J with Surf Trick Tonics. In this video expedition we will examine the battle for Soulgate at the end of the Expanse Season 5 finale titled Nemesis Games. Dissecting the tactics, revealing the fleet strengths and compositions on all sides for one of the most crucial battles in the Expanse universe. But first let's review the events that propelled this conflict into motion. The discovery of the proto-molecule on Saturn's moon Phoebe changed everything in the solar system. After years of interplanetary conflicts for control of this ancient extrasolar technology intertwined with massive research and development programs on the proto-molecule spawning a massive ring gate 1,000 kilometers wide near Uranus, also connecting over 13 hundred other ring gates with a network of wormholes spanning the galaxy to other habitable exoplanets. Yet the civilization that created this extraordinary technological achievement has long since gone extinct from an unknown cataclysmic event. An uneasy security treaty was formed between Earth, Mars, and the outer planets to regulate and study the protomolecule ring gate network the events unfolding through Season 5 of The Expanse has stretched this treaty to the brink, threatening to reignite the interstellar war on a drastically larger scale. With so many habitable worlds with breathable atmospheres within reach caused the Martian economy and military to undergo drastic cutbacks as terraforming Mars is no longer relevant, leading to advanced weapon systems flooding the solar system's black market funneled to a militant belter faction named the Free Navy that in turn unleashed terrorist attacks striking Earth with stealth asteroids, bombing the Martian parliament and seizing control of the last protomolecule samples threatening to weaponize and launch it at Earth or Mars to likely cause a planet-wise extinction level event. The United Nations and Martian Republic were shocked by the scale of the military capabilities unleashed on the inner planets as Marcos and Naros had seemingly overnight transformed from a fanatical Belter tribe into a formidable naval force that further rallied other outer planetary factions to his cause. UNN and MCRN fleets redeployed to guard the inner planets from this new threat while dispatching task groups to hunt the Free Navy in the outer planets with a joint Earth-Mars OPA force guarding the ring gate. After the inner planets are secured, the UN Secretary General orders retaliatory strikes on Belter targets destroying Palace Trade Station which will trigger a cascading factor influence the outcome of the Sol Ring battle. The Free Navy is able to elude and fend off warships sent to hunt them down. Unknown to Earth and Mars, a MCRN command admiral of extreme influence has been orchestrating clandestine operations to arm Marco Sinaro's Free Navy and was the facilitator behind the attacks on Earth and Mars. The Admiral's subordinate, Commander Solvater, and his fleet had secretly gone rogue with the primary objective of defeating the security force guarding the ring gate, which brings us to the battle near the outer solar system. The ring gate defense force consists of two UNN dreadnoughts and one MCRN capital battleship, with the OPA's Medina station guarding the transit hub orbiting the network core. The three battleships have the most powerful weapons platforms in the solar system. With a combined firepower roughly that of 50 standard naval vessels. The attacking force of the Belter Free Navy consists of seven Martian warships and six armed Belter ships. The rogue Martian fleet, commanded by Captain Solvater, deploys 11 stealth-capable MCRN warships. This combined flotilla of 22 vessels is outgunned over 3 to 1 by the Ring Gate Security Force. Fleet Captain Solvater implemented an asymmetrical assault plan with the commanders coordinating four critical phases for the order of battle. Rubble asteroids are a collection of hundreds or thousands of smaller rocks crunched together by gravity 
to form larger asteroids. Using the same method that attacked Earth, three large rubble rocks are covered with a stealth composite layer and launched by Belter frigates towards the ring gate days before the attack. When the trajectory point is achieved, the loose asteroids are ripped apart by the ring's gravitational pull. After avoiding detection, the target area was saturated with thousands of kinetic projectiles that can damage or disable long-range railguns and penetrate less protected sections of armored hulls, while spreading disarray through the ship's command and control stations. The micrometeor storm reduced the battleship's combined combat effectiveness by 16%. The 12 Free Navy ships maintained a trajectory just outside of railgun range coinciding with the meteor shower. This is designed to cause shocked enemy crews to experience target fixation assuming the bombardment was launched from the attack ship's position directly forward and perceiving the force to be more of a threat than it actually is, while losing situational awareness of the surrounding battle space. Outer Planetary Alliance controlling Medina Station defenses inside the transit hub became disenfranchised with the treaty after the UNN destroyed Palace Station in the Belt as retaliatory strikes from the attack on Earth. Mars Rogue Admiral Daudry facilitated Free Navy operatives access to quietly take control of the station with the sympathetic OPA crew members and collaborators. 19 hours prior to the attack, the station launched its payload of 20 torpedoes traversing the 400,000 kilometer distance to the Soul Gate, targeting the Tier 1 MCR battleship with advanced sensors that could detect the signatures of the approaching rogue Martian battle group running dark on another trajectory towards the right flank of the defense battleships executing the final envelopment maneuver. After losing the MCRN capital ship, the battle group was reduced further to 49% combat effectiveness, with point defense cannons covering forward and aft facing firing arcs. Achieving complete surprise, the overwhelmed UNN crews detected the rogue stealth ships too late in a vain attempt with reduced PDCs to cover a third firing arc. Four torpedo barrages launched from both attacking fleets cut through the UNN defenses finishing off both battleships in a matter of minutes as cascading antimatter detonations illuminated the massive ring gate leaving in its wake three red-hot debris fields from the shredded juggernauts. Twenty Martian and Belter ships were able to defeat a force three times its strength while only losing a handful of ships using asymmetrical warfare tactics of maneuver, envelopment, and covert operations, forcing surprise to turn their enemy strengths into weaknesses, achieving an unprecedented victory. The inner planets have been cut off from the ring gates. Marco and Aros and the Free Navy now control the system's most strategic stronghold of Medina Station, the Sol Ring Gate entrance, and the transit hub connected to 1,300 habitable planets spanning the galaxy. The entirety of the Third Martian fleet seceded from the Mars Congressional Republic and are transiting to the Laconia star system to a planet harboring powerful alien structures in orbit originating millions of years ago from the now extinct gate builder civilization. The rogue Martians barricaded the Laconia ring gate entrance allowing transit of their colonial transports before quarantining their endeavor from the rest of humanity. Please note the minefield on our side of the ring is now active to prevent any unauthorized transits in the future. While possessing the last known supply of protomolecules and scientific teams capable of unlocking the secrets of this ultra-powerful extrasolar technology. Command Admiral Duarte created the breakaway Mars military state 
on Laconia through orchestrating an intricate network of clandestine groups through precise logistical lines of communication and tactical operations utilizing his powers as staff commander of Mars Naval Intelligence on a level of strategic brilliance that blinded the political institutions of Earth and Mars. All of these moving parts synchronized perfectly to ensure the lightning victory at the Battle of Soul Gate. Admiral Duarte, I would like to extend our congratulations on a well-fought victory. Thanks for watching. For more expanse video breakdowns, check out this playlist and hit the subscribe button for more sci-fi video expeditions. Peace out.